Again, Pastor Fail, a little bit more involved here. Take a deep breath. You're looking at an underground in a commercial building. Hopefully you know that. Let's me lay out some things here. This is actually a branch drain coming off screen. This is an end clean out right here that you're seeing. This is a branch or a horizontal branch drain because we have multiple fixtures. So it's horizontal branch drain coming up. This is shooting over to a water closet. This is shooting over to a floor drain. This is shooting over to a water closet. This is a vent. This is shooting over to a water closet. This is an end clean out. This is also a vent. What is it, pass or fail? So first of all, what is it? We got three water closets and a floor drain and two vents. It's called a what? Cody Bagwell? Battery vented. Very good. That is awesome. That deserves a clap. So what you have here is a battery of fixtures because here's your start in the horizontal drain. Here's your vent, which really in this case wasn't necessary. There's no drains running beyond this. This is just an end clean out. So this vent here, which is the relief vent in this drawing, was over and above the requirements of the code. So did I make them take it out? Nope. Do we have a talk about it? Yes. Then we have the water closet. Then we have the floor drain. Then we have the other water closet. Then we have really, truly the battery vent. So we have a battery of fixtures, three water closets and a floor drain. That is defined as a battery. And then that battery was vented by that vent right there. So that's what you have. Battery of fixtures being battery vented. Question still on the table. Pass or fail. Colin West. The only thing I notice, it's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like the middle floor drain, it looks like there's a Y on the flat and it's not rolled up. Right here? Yeah, right, right there. All right, so here, here would be, um, let's talk about that then because that's a good piece. Um, when you're doing a horizontal battery, this horizontal fixture drain right here, you do not want to be rolling those Ys up above the center line of the battery. None of those fixtures, all those fixtures want to stay on the same plane. They never want to roll up. And a couple of them were rolling up. So all these Ys should be absolutely level or on the same plane would be a better word because this is all pitching or sloping or grading. But those should all be on the same level because you're using the top of this horizontal branch right here. You're using this as your vent for that water closet, that floor drain, that water closet, and that water closet. The top of the pipe is being used as a vent. Was this one over here a little bit cocked up? Yes, it was. There's a major violation here on this battery. Major, in your face, major violation. See that vent right there? That cannot roll above the center line in a battery. It needs to be right off the top. You're going to, you choose to battery vent to save vents. You best understand how to battery vent and all the critical pieces. And a lot of other things when you're doing venting and we're talking about flat venting or wet venting, you can roll above the center line because the top of this pipe is being used, the inside top, the space from the center up that Y, which could have been a TY, believe it or not, sanitary T, needs to be looking straight up and then you can cut over. So you got to pay attention to your grade, make sure you're not too close to your finished slab why you're also worrying about that little piece right there because you can't have more than 24 inches. So there's a whole bunch of things going on here. Were there some good things here? Yep, there was some good stuff, but nope, this was a fail. Um, really kind of quality work going on in this job. 
but kind of these are the fundamental pieces when we're talking about battery venting um gotta come off the top <laughs>